All right, hello. This is Bricks, uh, back with another art video. I don't have my cameraman with me as I usually do, so I've got this awkward angle right here. I uh, hope that's okay. Um, it is okay, because I'm doing the assignment, so that's okay. Um, so we're gonna do another deep dive analysis of a great painting. I chose this one because um, it just looks so beautiful, and I believe that uh, if I was there in that moment that it was being painted, I think I would have wept at the beauty. I kid you not. The sunset is gorgeous. The mountains are awesome. The river leading up to it looks amazing as well. Um, all of it, even the greenery that is in this painting looks pretty beautiful as well. So, um, it, this is called Twilight in the Wilderness. It was made in 1860 by a man named Friedrich Edwin Church. Uh, the aspects of it are 124 by 185 by 13 centimeters. And uh, the location, it just says American Landscape. So, uh, probably some of the Rockies, maybe, maybe the Appalachians, I don't know. But uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff there. Uh, it is a oil painting on canvas. Um, and here's some things I see. I see this sunset here. Beautiful, the really dark red right there is amazing. Looks beautiful with the blue behind, kind of the darker gray, black into the purplish, pinkish area. Then back into the yellow where the sun is still kind of uh, keeping its head up. And then you got the dark mountains back here, the bigger mountains over here with the green treenery uh, and the trees and all that good stuff. And then you have this beautiful looking river lake thing leading up to uh, the mountains and the sunset, which is pretty awesome. I also just see God in this. It looks like uh, God was really on fire that night. So pretty cool. Okay, so here's some elements. I see some color. Of course, I said the red, the purples, the grays, all that stuff. And then even... The water here is pretty beautiful as well, with a kind of a darker purple um, leading into some oranges and some blues, um, which is pretty beautiful. Um, and the di I think this whole thing is dominated by that orange and red uh, sunset cloud right there. I think that's where your eyes go to. Uh, some lines I see is this one directly across here, separating the mountains and the river from the sunset. I think that is on purpose. I think that's um, something that you probably saw in real life, which is pr pretty crazy that there are lines in real life as well. So that's interesting. Um, let's see. Um, shape and mass. So some shape in here. I see this triangular shape down here with the river, which I think is totally on purpose because that it leads you to look up into the mountains, which then leads you to that one line, which then leads you to look into the um, the sunset so everything is drawing to the sunset the color of the clouds draws to the sunset the river leading up to it and this line all of it in my opinion is leading to looking at this beautiful color right here because that dominant red as well all of it makes it um makes you want to look at that so that's pretty cool oh you can see the texture in the clouds um stuff like that a lot of depth in this painting because it's so big and, and you can see so much um pretty cool uh, you see harmony in the clouds um, and in the trees and stuff like that. And you see a variety in the clouds as well with the different colors, with the blues, the reds, the purples, and the grays. Uh, you see variety in the trees and the mountains as well. Um, and there's movement and rhythm in the clouds. As it, you can see, it's all being pushed this way because the artist made this curve. So I don't know if that would be under lines or what, but made it curve and you can see it's all pushing that way and then also with the river the water's leading up that way which once again draws your eyes to go look up for it in the painting which is once again pretty cool um and i and the emphasis and this is what I'll, this is what i'll end with the emphasis is that as i said in this whole video is in that that sunset right there it is gorgeous it is beautiful um everything is leading to you looking at that like i said the river the movement of the river this the the shape of the river leads up to that the line of the division between the mountains and the sunset the color of the sunset itself and the movement of the sunset all is emphasized to leading you to look at that sunset i believe personally so anyways twilight in the wilderness 1860 frederick edward and church 